In the shadow heart of South American swamps, the Neon Tetra, Paracaridon Inezi, begins its daily fight for survival. Less than two inches long, the Neon Tetra relies on its dazzling colors to confuse predators in the gloom. But danger lurks. The pike cichlid, Crinicula species, patrols like a silent torpedo, jaws built for ambush. One mistake and the school scatters. Survival depends on split-second schooling reflexes. In Asian peat swamps, the giant gourami, Osramus gourami, builds bubble nests to protect. In water so acidic it dissolves bone, the giant gourami constantly fans fresh oxygen to its young. Enter the red-bellied piranha, Pygocentris natteri, drawn by the scent of eggs in a nutrient-starved swamp. Eyes versus razor teeth, parental fury meets pack hunter instinct. In African floodplains, the African butterfly fish, Pantadon buholtsi, evolved to hunt insects. It shoots water up to three feet, turning the surface into a deadly trap for insects. The four-eyed fish, Anableps anableps, literally sees in two worlds, pupils split by a thin band of tissue. When the tigerfish, Hydrocinus vitatus, strikes from below, the four-eyed fish escapes by running on water. Deep in oxygen-poor channels, the electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, generates 600 volts to stun prey and navigate. A single shock paralyzes everything within a three-meter radius, turning the swamp into a kill zone. The living fossil Arapaima gigas must surface every 15 minutes. Its modified swim bladder acts as a lung. But the greatest threat isn't natural. Illegal nets target this air-breathing giant before it can reproduce. Transparency is armor for the glass catfish, Cryptopterus vitreolus. Its organs visible, but nearly invisible. Even aggressive Jack Dempsey cichlids, Rocio octofasciata, strike at ghosts. When floods recede, the African lungfish, Protopterus annectans, encases itself in mucus and estiates for years. Heart rate drops to three beats per minute, waiting for the next flood that may never come. In pitch black swamps, the banded knifefish, Gymnotus carapo, maps its world with electric fields. Males duel with voltage to claim territory, electric fencing in liquid form. The Siamese fighting fish, Betta splendens, constructs floating nurseries in rice paddy swamps. Territorial battles are rituals of color and fin. Loser retreats to fight another day. Precision marksmanship. The archer fish, Toxites jaculatrix, calculates refraction to hit prey six feet away. But the peacock bass, Cicla ocellaris, waits below to steal the prize. Silver arowana, Osteoglossum viscerosum, launch like missiles, mouths a gap for low-flying insects. One failed leap leaves them vulnerable to caimans lurking at the surface. The Amazon pufferfish, Colomasis acellus, swallows water to become a spiky balloon predators can't swallow. A tempera shield, then vanish before the bluff is called. Every dawn, a new generation emerges, tiny lives repeating ancient survival scripts. From electric fields to bubble nests, camouflage to voltage, each adaptation a chapter in the same story. The swamp floor is paved with the fallen, testament to a battlefield measured in inches. Yet schools reform, nests are rebuilt, and the cycle spin onward. Above, the swamp looks still. Below, the war for survival never ends.